nervous. Peanut butter cup fuel. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I am back with another home workout, finally. Gyms have opened up in Ontario, so I have been going to the gym and not doing any cardio. <laughs> The only cardio I have done is CrossFit style training with my friend Beth, but I haven't done anything like this, like my typical HIIT workouts. I haven't done anything like that in months. So I'm really nervous. <laughs> That's why we're starting with a 20 minute workout today, because I don't even think I could handle a 40 minute workout. Honestly, if I tried to do one of my other videos, I don't even think I could do it. So. Today we are doing a 20 minute full body workout. You don't need any equipment, it's only body weight. 35 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. So really short rest today. We're gonna keep the heart rate up because it's only 20 minutes. We're doing three rounds of eight exercises. I'm gonna demonstrate those exercises for you guys right now. So we're starting with number one, which is a sumo squat pulses to feet jump apart. I don't, I don't have names <laughs> for these things. But basically what we're doing is we're gonna do a nice wide stance squat. So we're gonna do a th three pulses like this. So one, two, three. You're gonna jump your feet together and then jump them back out. Do one, two, three together. One, two, three. And continue on like that for the 35 seconds. Number two is a plank walkout with a foot tap. You're gonna do a walkout like this, keeping your core nice and tight. Once you're in this high plank position, you're gonna take one of your hands and touch your opposite foot. So you're gonna go like that. I don't know if you can see it very well, this angle, but then you're gonna to touch the other one and then walk back. So it's a little bit of a core workout there. Three is a reverse burpee to a front burpee. So there always has to be a burpee in my home workouts, you guys. <laughs> Gotta keep your heart rates up. So we're gonna do a burpee, just a standard burpee. Then you're gonna go straight back into a reverse burpee. So you're gonna roll down and up like this. And then you're gonna spin around, do your frontward burpee again, roll down and do your backwards one, spin around and repeat. Oh man, I am going to struggle today. Next up, number four is a reverse crunch with a 45 degree angle. You're gonna be on your back, feet up. You're gonna lift yourself up like this using your core. So lift, and then you're gonna lower your feet to about a 45 degree angle. So keeping your core engaged and tight here. You're not dropping your legs all the way down. You're not keeping them here at 90. You're dropping just to 45, going up. 45, up, 45. Number five is a switch lunge, a giraffe squat. Do a jump lunge, feet together in the middle instead of just switching back and forth. Makes it a little bit easier because, you know, I'm a beginner over here, basically, again. Then you're gonna go to the other leg together, and then you're gonna drop your hands down to the ground for your squat, and then go back into your lunges. So it's lunge together, lunge together, squat together. So just think about alternating between those three with always bring your feet together in the middle in between. Number six, oh my goodness, I actually cannot breathe. Number six is a reverse fly, but we're doing a focus on our back. So what you're gonna do is basically this motion like a lat pull down, you're squeezing your lats as hard as you can. So with a reverse fly, it's usually like this, just kind of like open, but you're just gonna pull down like this shape and squeeze, see how I'm squeezing my back as hard as I can? So you're gonna squeeze, squeeze like that, but we're doing it in our reverse fly position. So flat here, you're gonna lift your feet lightly off the ground and engage your glutes in your lower back. So squeeze your whole posterior chain here and then hands out like this, like Superman, and then squeeze your back like that. Even do like a little pause when you're squeezing, like don't just fly through the motions. Really try to use that mind to muscle connection there. It's hard to engage our backs or target our back muscles when we're working out from home, so just wanted to throw a little back squeeze in there. Number seven is two delt taps 
with a foot jump apart. These names are brutal. You're gonna be in your high plank again, like this. You're gonna do your delt taps. So one, two, and then you're gonna jump your feet out and back together like that. So it's one, two, out, in. One, two, out, in. The last movement is a sprawl to squat. You can go like this, up for your squat, back down. Like that. I'm like wheezing. <laughs> Starting at 10. With our sumo squat poses. Pace yourself. Talking to myself. Don't drop your arms. 
ground. Don't arch it.
amazing. Squeeze your glutes on the way up.
that was actually really fun. I actually really miss that style of workout, how like powerful your body feels. And then afterwards you just have all those endorphins. You feel so good. So I started my watch a little bit later. It says I burned about 200 calories. That was a perfect, quick 20 minute hit, a good way for me. And you guys, if maybe you've stopped doing hit for a while like me, a good way to get kind of back into it without doing like a full 40 minute workout and just getting discouraged. I don't think I would have been able to go as hard as I did today if I did a full 40 minutes, but I feel like I kind of shocked myself and did a little bit better than I thought I was going to. I was able to go kind of fast, even though our rests were short, I wasn't completely dying and feeling like I'm gonna throw up. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of you guys. Yeah, it just goes to show you that there's no track. There's no, I fell off track or I'm off track. I fell off the wagon. I hate when people say that because there isn't a track. Like there's no fitness track that you just fall off of. It's just life and you're not falling off track of your life. You're just living. So if you haven't worked out for a while or if this is your first hit workout back like me, that doesn't mean that you're getting back on track now. You're just, you just did a workout, that's it. I don't like the whole concept of fitness is a track and we need to work out this many days a week or we're not on track. I don't like that. Get out of that mindset. You're not getting back on track. You're not getting off track. You are just living. Sometimes you're working out, sometimes you're not. It's fine, either way. Sometimes you're in the gym doing weights, sometimes you're doing hit. There's no track. I'm gonna stop yelling at you guys. <laughs> Tag me on your Instagram stories. I love seeing you guys do my workouts. I know I said race me a couple times. I don't know why, but <laughs> just to inspire you to go quick and to inspire me to go quick. So if you have any clips of you guys like racing me, I would love to repost those on my story. But um, okay, shutting up. I love you guys, thanks for working out with me, and I will see you in the next one.